Hello and welcome to this new lesson in which we will talk about this big microcontroller programmer uh, it's called QL 2006 uh, universal programmer so it programs a variety of microcontroller the one that I'm concentrating on is big microcontroller uh, it also programs EBROM and a lot of other ICs I'll show you a list of the ICs that this programmer support I've been using it since uh, my graduation for about six years now let's talk about some details technical details now uh, here we have two LEDs this one is a green one and there is power written below it and here we have the red one it's called busy the green one which is power will turn on once you plug the USB cable to this board so once there is power it will turn on now for the red one it will turn on only when you program or you burn a code from your computer to big microcontroller now here we have a socket the green one it's called ZIF socket uh, you will place your big microcontroller here as you can see here we have a guide for show to show you how to connect it now it's called ZIF socket or zero insertion force socket because you place the IC gently here you don't need to force it in then you move this lever as you can see this one once you move it as you can see inside the holes we have a plate that moves and lock the socket so it won't fall now another component here is the ICSP this is a connector very similar to the telephone or internet uh, connector uh, it comes with the programmer in the, in the box you place it here and it has a cable with four or five wires that you can use to program big microcontroller while it's still in board you don't need to place it here you can simply hook these five wires that comes from this connector to your big microcontroller while it's in board it's called ICSB or in circuit serial programmer or programming um, this is very helpful when it comes to debugging your code or to testing your circuit you don't need to keep removing the big microcontroller from the circuit you just need to connect these wires and you can reprogram it a thousand times it doesn't matter um, as you know this will help you with a problem of uh, let's say damaging the IC legs from continuous insertion and removing the IC now let's move to the last part which is this one here we have three connectors the middle one is the USB connector you'll see a cable inside your box with a connector like this you will place it here and the other end with in your computer now if you don't have a USB connector if you have an old connection or an old equipment an old equipment you can simply use this serial connector now in case there is no or your USB or serial board doesn't provide enough power you'll need to plug a power socket or a power charger or a power adapter here you'll have to purchase it separately in order to provide more power to this but normally uh, you won't use it I didn't use it for since four or five years because this uh, little programmer doesn't take a lot of power so USB connection would be enough to provide it with power and data communication so here it is 
Uh, next, I'll show you the software and how to burn your code. If you want to purchase one, you can see the links in the description. It's a very universal programmer and you will need it in your setup if you are uh, starting your way in Big Microcontroller. Don't buy that cheap um, programmer that only has a PCB and start with this because this is a universal one and you won't need to purchase another programmer after this one so this is the one that I'm using and this is the one that I will continue to use for years to come That's it. Thanks for watching. This is Educational Engineering.